I'm Anna Ritas Rodriguez with the WEBN News, and as you can see, we are here reporting from the One Nation Rally in Washington, D.C., where thousands of Americans have gathered from all parts of the country by bus, by plane, to rally for three causes, jobs, education, and immigration. Earlier today, I got a chance to speak to Reverend Al Sharpton, One Nation co-chairman Marcos Villar, and Erica Andiola, an illegal immigrant eager to pursue her own American dream. I think it's important we start dealing with immigration rights, that we start the day talking about the fact that we have demonized in many circles immigrants in this country who have been the backbone of the country, who stood, who worked hard, who made America, America. Uh, I was proud to march in Arizona around immigration rights when they tried to do this to immigrants there. And I'm glad that we're kicking off the day of One Nation with this immigration round. We're not getting through. Senate and the Republicans are blocking everything, and we're coming together to, to uh, all together show force and show presence. This event that we're having here is a feeder march, it's a pre-rally, the big rally we're going to have later on in front of the Lincoln Memorial. Since you're here, you, you grew up here, and you grew up with, with your friends who are going to school, you know, your teachers are always telling you that you're going to get somewhere if you complete your education. So I believed it. I, you know, I went to school, I was accepted into Arizona State University. I was able to graduate with a bachelor's degree in psychology. And I have a degree right now, but I can't use it. I mean, I'm an employee right now. It's, it's just, it's really frustrating to me. Just, you know, thinking about the fact that I, I want to help my family. My mother is, is also unemployed because of our status. And I want to help her. I, I just want to help my family and I can't. I mean, I, I work really, really hard and I just, I can't even help them. 